recommend going out there. Unless you got a death wish. to our mother. Look at him. Not a care. This place is nothing like it. So, you have begun to fulfill your potential. Long have I awaited this day. <laughs> At ease, young soldier. I took your measure the moment you set foot in this town. Hard not to, given your presence. I am Navalon of the Thousand Eyes. Years of meditation have granted me sight beyond sight. It is this clarity which shows me all. Even that which some wish to keep hidden. You exude a powerful yet troubled aura. Indeed, it makes you the perfect opponent. Come, and don't you dare hold anything back. My name is Ladrell Balmont, and I am the creator of the game Queen's Blood. Which means that this nightmare is of my own making. 
I didn't know. How could I? <laughs> you hear her too? Time's running out. She's calling me. Commanding me. She's made me her prisoner. Her cursed guard, my shackle. The end is nigh. Or perhaps this is only the beginning. The Shadow Blood Queen is. Yes, you have dreamt the dream of Ladrell Balmon too. What do you know about it? Mm. Only rumors and hearsay that players of particular skill have experienced strange visions of late. Visions in which one is visited by the ghost of the game's creator, who speaks of portentous events. To add another wrinkle, some of the world's very best have recently met with unnaturally violent deaths. People are calling this the Curse of the Drell. Not even my third eye can discern the true cause, though it is clearly something sinister. If you wish to continue on the path of the cards, then remain vigilant. you talk to this old fella instead. Hmm. He's tough. Tougher than he looks. And real good at solving people's problems, right? Of course I'm soft on kids. Helping them's what we do. News to me. Well... What's the problem? Uh, you see, Mr. Birdie ran away and hasn't come back. Oh, Mr. Birdie's a bird friend of ours? His head is all pointy. Kinda like yours, mister. Pointy, huh? I bet they're talking about Cloud Jr. Who's that? Your bird friend. He had a run-in with a nasty fiend, and we saved his tiny behind. No way! You guys! Grandpa said he saw Mr. Birdie heading toward the desert. What? But well, we aren't allowed to go all the way out there. You just leave it to us. We'll find your friend. Really? Promise. Great. Grandpa said there's some old birdhouses out in the desert that people built back in the Republic days. He said those are good places to set traps. Oh, and my mommy told me you can craft them yourself if you've got the right chip. In that case, we'd better figure out how to transmute us some traps. Been a lot of people so torn in her mind.
won't be outnumbered. Unless... What if we cloned a bunch of ferrets? They blast those baddies into oblivion! And catch us in the crossfire. Uh, okay, what about... Kiva? Uh. Thinking naughty thoughts? Oh, shut up. Busted! I thought ninjas were supposed to be silent. Oh, forgive me for interrupting your fantasies. I'll let you get back to being a perv. Oh, I bet you'll just yoink the crown right off the king's head. Can't wait to see it in person. Just don't keep me waiting too long. We Johnnies are delicate flowers that wilt in the desert heat. Deal with Here that. Here goes. Why don't you leave Hang it? back. for our Cloud Junior catching purposes, right?
ought to do something for Cloud Jr., don't you? Kids gotta eat. And now, we wait. Might as well rig the other traps then. Life was a hell of a lot simpler back in old Midgar. We were good, Shinra was bad, and if we took him out, the world would be all right. So what's changed? Not a damn thing. Shinra's still going down, but coming back here, I see how I got tunnel vision. And not because Shinra was all I had to think about, it's because I didn't want to think about anything else. Saving the planet's important, but I put a lot of personal stuff on the back burner, and I shouldn't have. Dying and the others helped give me that clue. Just wish I could have got it sooner. This must be the sandstorm. Sands. What is this thing? No way. What misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed? You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine! You think the proto-relic is yours? Proto what now? Relic, you say? A ridiculous name, unworthy of my treasure! What you names covet is none other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal! The guest. Uh oh. Oh. This one! I can hold it no longer! Oh. Oh. Oh no, down I go! Oh, what was that? <sighs> oh, thank goodness I finally got through. Are you alright? I'm fine. But what the hell was that just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. stronger. Perhaps there is a proto-relic in the nearby reactor. Uh, you mean that thing? It's been altered. Though it doesn't appear these modifications were made by Shinra. Whoever's responsible may be waiting within. Proceed with caution. It's some sort of monster's den. A fortress, if you will. Whatever it is, I don't think we can get inside. <sighs> Whoa. Commencing scan. I believe I have a match. 
The symbols resemble those found in the Book of Kings, an ancient tome. Allow me to translate. Hmm. Interesting. Well then, in order to unlock this door, you'll need to locate a cactuar rock hidden somewhere in the desert. What kind of rock? A mineral deposit named for its distinct cactuar shape. Now that Cloud has made contact with this door, the rock we seek should be marked by a green glow. By the way, do you happen to see a cactuar shaped statue anywhere nearby? Uh... Oh! That's it! That statue should guide you to the rock I spoke of, which in turn will serve as the key to the door. So we must prove ourselves worthy. I know you can do it.
Doing? I'm not doing anything.
successfully extract data on the deity. I expect you'll find this hard to believe, but I've actually changed quite a bit since my younger days. Uh huh? Thanks to Tifa, mostly. She really set me straight. Especially as a parent. Wouldn't be half the father I am today without her. That's so. What'd she do? Oh, uh, got fed up with my bullshit and tore me a new one. Started yelling about how a kid like Marlene needed a proper roof over her head. Somewhere safe and clean. Said sleeping outside was risky. She was right. Sure was. And not just her. The whole team helped me get my act together. I used to be a runaway train, charging full speed ahead and dragging folks along for the ride. Never thought about hitting the brakes or anything else. Had my fair share of crashes and went off the rails a few times. Caused a lot of trouble for those guys. Well, I'd say you managed to get yourself back on track. I couldn't have done it without them. They came into my life for a reason. Like you did, Cloud. Junior, too. I know it in my heart. 